Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Weebly Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to create Facebook's sticky sidebar in your Weebly site. Now this video tutorial will follow the written step-by-step -step tutorial that can be found on Weebly Tricks, and I'll post a link to that written step-by-step -step tutorial in the description of this video. Now what is Facebook's sticky sidebar? Okay, so if you're familiar with uh, Facebook, you will notice that when you scroll down your Facebook page, the right sidebar will stick to the page as you scroll down and as you scroll up. So keep your eye on the right sidebar here. Watch as I scroll down. Okay, watch if we reach the bottom. See how, see how the bottom of the sidebar stuck to the bottom of the viewport here? Okay. And it will remain stuck there until we reach the bottom of the page. And as I scroll up, watch the top of the sidebar. Once we reach the top of the sidebar, see that? Top of the sidebar stuck to the top of the viewport window, and it will remain stuck there until we reach the top of the page. Okay. Here's a quick view of the demo site that we'll be using for this tutorial. Okay. So uh, let's begin. Step one, open Weebly's HTML CSS editor. Go to theme at the top and on the bottom left, click on edit HTML forward slash CSS. All right, step two, create a new page layout. Right, on the left here, under header type, choose either header.html or no header.html, depending on whether or not uh, you want your new sticky sidebar page layout to have a banner image. So if you want your new sticky sidebar to have a banner image, choose the header.html page layout. If you don't want your new sticky sidebar page layout to have a banner image, go with the no header uh, page layout here. We want our new sticky sidebar page layout to have a banner image, so we're going to choose header.html here on the right, select all the coding, select the copy, header type, click the plus icon, click new header type, and we're going to call this new header type sticky. Okay. On the right here, select all the coding within the file, right click, click paste, okay, to paste so the HTML code that we copied from the header page layout, and there we go. Step three, delete sections code. All right, so in the new sticky page layout that we just created, look for the white sections code, which are right here and one here and here. We're gonna delete them. Okay, and then I'm just gonna tidy up here just to make it look nice. Okay, step four, add sidebar HTML coding. All right, so uh, first thing you want to do is you want to delete the white content code, which is right here. Actually, no, I'm going to copy the HTML code. So copy the HTML coding first. Okay, back to the Weebly editor here. Okay, select the white content code. Delete that. Give yourself some space. And right where the white content code used to be, we're going to paste the HTML code that we just copied from the written tutorial. And that looks like a mess, so we're going to tidy that up real quick. Bear with me. Okay, almost done. And there we go. So it should look just like that. And here's the code that we just added in. Step five, right, yeah, step four, step five. Add sidebar CSS coding. All right, now select, um, copy the CSS coding below here in the written tutorial. On the left here under styles, select main.less. If you're using an older Weebly theme, you, your CSS file might be called main underscore styles.css. So, same file. Um, okay, and right here, I'm going to locate the main content areas coding, but I know that this uh, particular theme doesn't have a section dedicated to it. So, I'm going to just put this, uh, I'm going to just find the area beneath the banner image because naturally that would be um, that would be the main content area. 
And beneath the banner, uh, CSS coding, I'm going to paste the CSS coding I copied from the written tutorial in here. Okay, and there it is. It's right here. And there's one step you need to do. You need to add in your main content areas div. Your main content areas, your main content areas divs ID or class um, right here. So this is the uh, the ID of this particular theme's main content area. Um, to locate yours, what you do is you go to your live site, click right click on the main content area, click inspect or inspect element, and you can see right here the content area. Um, the main content area has a div uh, with an ID called content wrapper. So that's all we did. So we put that right here for your theme. Um, will likely have a different ID or class. So just paste it in there and you can see it's it's just replaced the orange coding right here in the uh, written tutorial. Okay. Step six, all right. All right, so scroll down under assets, click the plus icon, click new folder. And we're going to call this new folder sticky. On the right, uh, click outside of it so it saves. And then what you're going to do is you're going to download these three jQuery files here. I already have them on my computer, so I'm just going to upload them. But you download them first. And then once you download them, uh, continue with me here. All right, so then once you've downloaded them, uh, click the little gear icon and then click upload files. And we're going to upload. Um, all three of these files to the new sticky folder we just created. One, two, and three. There we go. Okay, and click save, right? So click save, so we'll save all that work. Okay, and go to step seven here. Add jQuery coding. So copy the jQuery coding that's provided in the written tutorial. Back to the Weebly editor, go to settings at the top, click on SEO on the left, and then the footer code area, paste the jQuery coding that you copied from the written tutorial. Click save. Step eight, and apply a sticky page layout. All right, so go to pages at the top. Click on demo site and under header type, select the sticky. Um, you can see this uh, this theme has already done that. Okay. And step nine, add content. So go to build at the top and just begin adding stuff to your sidebar here. So I'm gonna add some text in here. I'm just going to copy some of the text from the content area here. Copy. I'm going to remove some because it's a little too much. And I can add a little bit more. Just trying to find the right balance to show you that this works. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, and that is all. All right, so let's publish that and see if our new sticky sidebar is working. Okay, live site. Scroll down. Let's see, keep your eye on the right sidebar here. And there we go. The right sidebar, the sidebar has stuck to the bottom of the page once we reach the bottom of it. And it's going all the way to the bottom here. All right. It's going back up. The top of the sidebar should lock. Yep. It is stuck to the top of the viewport window here. And as we scroll to the top of the page, it has been brought back to its final resting place. All right, guys. So that is how you create Facebook's sticky sidebar in your Weebly site.